Hey, let's go over how to draw Compsognathus from Jurassic World. He's a tiny dinosaur. Let's get started. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to start with kind of like the top of his head, the front part of the top of his world snout. Line right there. Really small, right? Pulling over here back. Curve a little bit right here for the brow. A lot of dinosaurs have that for kind of the eye, where that's going to be. Pulling back over here, slowly, the neck down. Now the back of the neck. All right, go over here to the front, go to the front of him, and I'm gonna pull down just a bit. Line over here, back, curve. And it's gonna curve underneath the eye. That's the kind of the opening of the mouth, right? But he's gonna have a closed mouth in the one we're doing right now. Line down over here for underneath his jaw. Back over here, up. Line down here for kind of the like furrowing of his eye. And right here we're gonna draw the circle for his eye. And I'm gonna make his eye bigger than normal to make the scale overall look smaller. Like he's got a smaller face. Normally the eyes I wouldn't draw it that big if it was like a raptor, even though he's got kind of a similar body composition, right? Because I think he's a theropod as well, I'm not sure. Line right here for the nostril. A little bit of a curved line right there because they have the ear back there, right? Like in most lizards. Uh, line underneath the neck, down. Okay, pulling over here, curve for the back, and then out for the tail. Tail's gonna be probably a little bit wispier uh, when it moved, right? It was lighter, uh, less gravity was acting upon it. Um, I don't know if you remember these guys from Jurassic Park, I think the Lost World is where they were really featured. Uh, they were attacking dudes. This one dude, the bad guy, or one of the bad guys, bad humans, I mean. Curve underneath for kind of the front of the chest area. Don't, by the way, if you like dinosaurs, if you like any of this stuff, hit the like right now. Hit that like button. It's gonna let me know what to draw more of. Uh, if there's a dinosaur you want to see drawn, let me know. I'm gonna draw maybe different versions of the same dinosaur doing different things. Close ups, not hit me up, guys. Absolutely hit that like button and go check out the playlist because there is a new uh, Jurassic World playlist. Because be more of the more of the realistic ones down right here for the arm. Out over here, downward. He's got his arm kind of laying, you know, kind of aimed down. The wrist. Curve right here. Pulling up to the hand. Line over here. Set the wrist. We go back to the elbow. Up over here. Down over here, to the chest. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go into the eye right there. I didn't do this, but we could draw the the eyeball, right? Maybe leave a little uh, white space right there for the highlight. So one of my favorite things ever to draw is dinosaurs. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way. Hopefully you do. Um, I'm probably gonna create a book about it eventually, how to draw dinosaurs. I just gotta, I already have a bunch. I wanna create like a new angle at it, um, but that's kind of what I've been thinking about. Line over here. Go over here on this side. Line over here for the leg. All right. Down over here, kind of the knee area. Pull back. Down. Curve. Line in. Curve. Curve. Back over here. And down here. Now we're gonna have him kind of flat to the ground, right, with his foot. So let's go over the leg really quick, and this this counts for like most uh, theropods, and it goes for modern day animals as well. So this is the leg, this is the knee area, back over here, this is the heel. So this is a, like this would be the equivalent of our heel. Like think of the heel of our foot. Um, this is what that is right there. And it, there's a difference. The difference is, uh, and then this is the toes right here. So he's standing on his tippy toes. Uh, you see t cats do that right now, 
Um, you see a lot of animals like that now, and it has to do with speed, leverage for speed. Um, so I think what we, we call it is a digigrade, this, where they're standing under digits, and then plantigrade is where, like us, we're planted down, like with our heels touching the floor, like, uh, I believe, uh, oh man, I think bears are like that, I think gorillas are like that, so they're plantigrade and digigrade. Um, just kind of a little, you know, lesson on that. Ooh, definitely share the video, by the way, guys, if you like dinosaurs. Ooh, sorry, there's a car on the outside. Definitely share the video. That's going to help a lot as well. So we're going to follow this line over here. Go back over here. And I'm going to try to find a one long, smooth line for... There you go. Right on. Go here for the back leg. Going to mirror this other leg over here. Go a little bit further back. Down over here. For another mirrored kind of appendage in the back, right? So now we can look at this guy and be like, okay, what does he need as far as like styling goes, right? Maybe we can add a little bit of shadow right here under the neck, because that can help. Usually the sunlight's coming from above. Right on. Line underneath. Line under the armpit over here. Maybe a line right there for the scapula, right? Which is, again, if you don't know anatomy, um, I go over people anatomy, and this is very directly compared to people anatomy because every uh, thing that has a spinal cord will have a similar anatomy in terms of kind of how they're, how they're, uh, how what happens, etc. You know, how they change, how they evolve. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to thank you very much. You are amazing. Uh, this is Comp Uh If you enjoyed that, please let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, let me know if you want me to do a, a, a like make an entire book on how to draw dinosaurs. I might do that. Um, but it, it also, one last thing, if you want to draw stripes or something like that, like a design, you can do that. Oops, they just, they just use a thinner line with whatever you like. Remember, these things are like tiny, okay? Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. I want you to reach out to me. Uh, say hi to me in the comments section. Uh, say what's up. If you say hi right now, I will absolutely reply, okay? So I'll talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, see you later, everybody.